Hey people in YouTube land, Zach Hall here, and I want to do a Bible review for you. Uh, this is really one of the coolest Bibles that I think have come out this year uh, in 2022. And this is the Thomas Nelson personal size, large print, single column reference Bible. Yes, you heard me. All the King James fans out there can rejoice. Thomas Nelson has finally made a single column reference Bible. And not just Thomas Nelson, but really publishers in general. I mean, before this edition, there was really only the Cambridge as far as a, a good single column Bible. And there's some journaling Bibles and Barber started to come out with some things. But this is single handedly, I think, in my personal opinion, the best single column King James Bible out on the market. And I'm going to show you why. Um, first, it's personal size. So you can see this is my hand. So the overall dimensions, I don't know if they have this exactly on the box, but the overall dimensions of this Bible is probably about eight and a half inches by five and a half inches. So it's a very personal size Bible. It's probably about an inch and a quarter thick. So not a very thick Bible. It's got two beautiful red ribbon markers. This comes in a genuine leather too. That's a high end leather. This is their leather soft. It's got a beautiful, I really like these end sheets. These are really nice. And it's got the old style font, it says Holy Bible. And you've got engravings on the side, so a very beautiful cover. And then also on the spine, you have Holy Bible, and then KJV, Thomas Nelson's logo, and then like this floral pattern. But it actually does look uh, very, it looks more masculine than it does feminine. So I really do like, like that. So there you can see the back as well. Here is the ISBN number. Anybody's interested? But yeah, getting this. So this has a 10 point font, 43,000 cost references at the end of verse of the single column. You can kind of see how the single column's laid out there. It's verse by verse, so it's not paragraph, which I love, and I'll show you that as well. So just a beautiful Bible, guys. Beautiful. And somebody actually got this as a gift for me as I was at the bookstore. I was helping them. And a brother got this for me as a as a, ch as a checkout. It was unbelievable. So um, this thing is just a really cool Bible. So I was going to show you the font. We're going to do a quick review on this. I'll try to do a more in-depth one once I've used it for a little while. So the pages are still sticking together. But guys, look at that. That's a leather soft Bible from Thomas Nelson. And it's laying flat there. And this is numbers. I mean, there's Leviticus. Let's see how far we can get away with this. Exodus. So I have no, no doubts that once I break this thing in, it's going to lay flat in Genesis. You can see here you have paragraph headers. But what I love about the single column is, I mean, again, this Bible's not huge, but it's a 10-point font. Massive font, so easy to read. Verse numbers are perfectly indent or left justified, and there's an indention. So the verse numbers stand out by themselves. So if you're a preacher, a teacher, someone who studies the Bible constantly, this is going to be a Bible that you're going to love for years and years to come. Uh, I mean, this the font is amazing. It's a co uh, Nelson Comfort print. Just going to flip through so you guys can get a, get a feel of this single column look. But just a beautiful layout. I mean, look at the the words never bend into the gutter. You have enough space in the middle that the words stay flat on the page. And again, this is their first release of this single column. They had a single edition, single column edition way back in the day that was really cool but they discontinued it and so i'm so glad they re-released a single column reference bible and so you can see the end of verse references here throughout the text okay so you do get some references they said forty-three thousand cross references so that's that's a pretty good amount i mean it's about an average for for a reference bible and then you actually have textual notes at the bottom for the king james so mainly up-to-date words like what the modern equivalent is or sometimes it's an alternate uh translation in like literal renderings and stuff, but all the references are actually in the text. So you know when there's a reference key in here, for example, let's see if we can find one. It's like this B is not gonna be a reference, it's actually gonna be a textual note. So you can come down here to 12, one, and then find B. And so that word means just hungry. So in hungered, hungry. So it's just a textual note. But I mean, look at this, we're in the New Testament. Okay, you get the book. Uh, title, chapter, verse number at the top, page number, and we're in the New Testament. This thing is still laying flat. Okay, look at that. I mean, we're in the concordance on a, on a letter stop. I've barely broken in. So there's the end of Revelation. 
I do wish there was a page in between here, but that's not a big deal. Not a deal breaker at all. Uh, then you get a beautiful concordance. It's actually a pretty thick concordance. So as you can see there. So let's see if it's renumbered. Oh, no, but it just continues with the numbering system. So 1789, 98, excuse me. So it starts about on page 1800. And it runs through... 1876 so you've got about a hundred and or excuse me a 76 page concordance a little bit more than that a little bit more than that but about a 76 page concordance double column references and you have the standard thomas uh thomas nelson maps in the back and these are actually really well done in this uh, this personal size edition there's a note regarding the type of how 2K Denmark found the, uh, the, the font that they wanted to design. They designed it specifically for the King James. But guys, I'm just stoked that there is a single column, and let alone reference Bible, in the King James. That, I mean, this is going to be, this is just huge. I, I mean, I, I got to see this Bible selling out a ton of copies. I mean, just look at this font. The red's beautiful. There's there's just enough words across. It's not a ton of words. It doesn't overload your brain. It's easy to follow along the lines without getting lost. Again, the verse numbers are great for referencing if you're a preacher, teacher, or you're following along or you're just studying your Bible. But then what this allows too is the verse numbers are off to the side. So they're not in the text distracting you when you're just reading the paragraphs. So it's very easy to ignore the verse numbers because they're left justified and kind of separated out. But they also um, aren't like the Traveris. Like these are actual where the verses start. So they actually typeset it to where the verses do start where these are. So it's not like it starts mid-sentence and then you've got to find the other verse. So I think the typesetting on this is A+. Plus. The, the font is A++. Plus plus. The single column idea with the reference edition, uh, it, it gets an A+. Plus. I mean, this is a beautiful edition. Now, I will say <clears throat> there are some places where... Um, there was a good example there in Timothy, but sometimes a book starts on a new page and sometimes it doesn't, and it's not very clear why one does and one doesn't, but here we'll get to the book of Thessalonians. I don't know if I can flip it. Sorry, some of these pages are still stuck together, but there we go. So you can see here Thessalonians does not start on a new page. But I'm also glad that they don't have the book introductions either. I was so glad they took that out. So this is a true reader's edition, something where you can just truly enjoy the Word of God. Just get in it, read it, study it, preach it. I mean, this Bible would be perfect in a pulpit. And again, they have genuine leather editions that are like cowhide or calfskin that are just beautiful. I actually got to see that one. I almost bought that one until this brother bought this one for me. So I just decided to put the genuine leather one back and just take it as a sign that God wanted me to have uh, this one. So... That's that's what I'm I'm not, I'm happy with. I'm very content. Um, I've been praying and wanting a single column Bible, and so glad that Thomas also released this edition. This is this is literally everything I want in a single column. I love this even better than the Clarion from Cambridge. So again, I can't speak highly enough of this Bible, guys. Go get one. This Bible here for retail was only thirty four ninety nine. They're genuine leather ones. Their calfskin ones are about $109, which is still a great deal. They're very super, super soft, super flexible, great binding, good paper in these Bibles. You can highlight in this. You could write with Pigma Microns in this, add cross-references, symbols, whatever you want to do. But on Christian Book, you probably find these for even cheaper. So that's why I mention it. This is actually at a book, local bookstore I like to support, so I go there. But yeah, this brother bought it, but it's $34.99. So very affordable, very, very affordable price for a single column that has amazing paper amazing font for the most part it is line matched everywhere you look so i would say go get you one if you haven't this thing is amazing if you have any comments questions let me know or anything you want me to hit in a full review i can do that as well i can do some comparisons if you want me to to a double column as well but uh here's here's the isbn on the box it's a little bit clearer than it was on the leather soft so I hope this review is a blessing to you guys. Again, I'm just super excited about this Bible. And oh man, I just, I, yep, I'm going to be using this in my devotions and just following along and probably preaching, preaching a lot out of this Bible. So 
Hope you guys have a great night. Take care and God bless.